And it is mom of four Nicole. And um, my diaper bag has gotten a little bit out of control. Um, it's so unorganized. I don't know if y'all have the same problem, but I literally have to reorganize it probably every few weeks. Especially when the baby goes to grandma's or daddy has a baby or brothers get into the diaper bag. So I thought, oh, I'm going to sit down and clean it out. But I thought I'd make a quick video of what's in my diaper bag. And that way you guys can see it a mess. Um, I totally forgot what's in here. Like I said, it's just unorganized when we're quick trying to leave the house um, or apartment, I should say. Um, I tend to throw things in there or I'll tell one of the boys, hey, get a baby food, throw in there, things like that. So um, I just want to do a quick video. I got this diaper bag. This is my second one and he's 11 months old. So, um, and I just got this one a few months ago and, um, I'm not one to get the name brand diaper bags cause I need the big space and, um, I just ain't having, if I won't buy myself purses that are expensive, I'm not going to do it on a diaper bag. I got this on, um, was it Black Friday or Christmas sale? One of them, anyways, at Babies R Us for $14.99. And um, they had them in pink, green, and blue. So the first pocket here, and like I said, I'm just going to end up pulling everything out because i got to reorganize it anyways. Um, in here we have uh, some Simlax, like the ones uh, that are like um, on-the-go ones. Um, and he's on eight ounces. Each packet is only for a two ounce or two ounces of water than one packet. So I would actually need to use three. And then we always have some little coupons in here. Um, that way, um, I always have them at the store and they may be expired. But anyways... So we've got that, and I used to have this whole thing filled up because I ended up not using them, and I'll tell you guys why when we get into the big part. And then we have, see, this is supposed to be in here, but I have two of the um, Huggies changing pads. I wish they would get these at, like, Dollar Tree for cheaper since they have the bibs. Um, I got these free... I don't even know, either Babies or Us or Target, one of those places you register, and um, and you know they give you like a little goodie bag, I asked for extra goodie bags, and or extra supplies, and they just gave me some, but these are the changing pads, and they're disposable, so, and then, let's see, oh, there's more stuff in here, we have some California Baby Diaper Rash Cream. And, um, some, what do you call these? Diaper baggies. So I'm planning on not purchasing these expensive ones. I got, um, the Arm & Hammer. I'm actually planning on, if I remember, going to Dollar Tree and getting, like, the, um, ones for, like, dogs and stuff. Because, I mean, it does the same thing. I'm just waiting for those to run out. And that is all. And then in here... Uh, tissue and um, Germex. And then we got little man some sunglasses. A hair tie. Oh, oh, a spoon. See, it probably needs to be washed. And then some true lemon. What are these called? I don't know, but these are awesome. I like to drink water with lemon, and so I think I have some in my purse, but some ended up in here, but these are great. And I saw some people haul them at Dollar Tree, and I'm really um, keeping an eye out for those. And then a pair of socks, so. And then in a side pocket, we have um, an open pack of the Annie's Organic Cheddar Bunnies. I'm trying to get all of my family to start eating these because they are organic and there's no artificial flavors, etc. And get them off the goldfish. So, and, um, I bought like a case of these at, um, Sam's. Um, and they all like it, so. And then in here... Oh, some wet wipes and then this came with a bag and there's nothing in here 
Let's double check that. Yeah, there's nothing in here. So. A business card. A pen. And then in the back here. Ooh, some mail. See, that needs to be taken out. Boogie wipes. I have a ton of, because these samples came with a coupon on them. And I know some of y'all been hauling. Are these even expired? No. Um, the boogie wipes at Dollar Tree, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could find them. But this says it's for 30 count, 45 count, 90 count. Let me know, guys, if you guys did get the boogie wipes at Dollar Tree and they were those um, counts, or at least the 30 count, because I have a ton of coupons and I wanted, because I love these boogie wipes, and I wanted to get some for 50 cents instead of paying a dollar, another boogie wipe, and a uh, cereal. Alrighty. Now we are in the big part. Oh, see how messy this is, y'all? And I'm that type of person, I gotta have it organized. But it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, and there's probably more in here. But we got five diapers. And these, um, these are the Pampers. And I was thinking about doing a favorite video of baby products. Um, I started getting the Loves and, um... I can't do it anymore. He's just leaking right through him. And um, he's all into Elmo. These Pampers ones. Actually, there's the, the box over there. Um, they have Elmo on it. And they have that powdery smell like the Loves do. And he has not leaked out of these at all. So, And then we have a couple uh, disposable bibs. A boogie wipe. See, like, oh my god, it's a mess in here. Um, a pack of um, baby wipes. Um, Aquaphor diaper rash cream. California baby super sensitive everyday lotion. A boogie wipe. Um, and it probably needs to be washed. Uh, maybe. But this is the Tommy Tippy um, bibs. I like these. Um, it's supposed to be roll, rolled up, but because I can just wipe it clean, like with a wipey. And this is something um, I got at Walmart. It is just like one of those mats when you go when you go out to eat, and it like sticks to the table, kind of like. Um, and this was like five something. I highly recommend this. It really does stick to the table. So, um, uh, a Simlock that I got free in the mail. So, um, I'll tend to grab this out and not use those, um, packets, but he is actually 11 and a half months old. Um, I, today, actually, I tried to give him just a little bit of the, um, whole milk. So, let me know what ages you guys gave your kids whole milk. And then I have, see, I need to pull these out and use these before they, they go back bad because I think he's probably only going to be on formula for a couple more weeks or um, I'm going to donate him. Oh lordy lordy. There is a um, little umbrella. See these are from when he was like a newborn. And a cloth bib. And um, some snacks. And these are actually um, the formula dispensers. I usually, as you can tell, he's eaten them. But put three different snacks in here. And um, see, that's a Fruit Loop from his brothers. But um, yeah, and when we go out to eat like at a restaurant, just open it. That way he has a variety and I'm not carrying too much in the diaper bag. But um, like I said, this is a formula and it's by Munchkin. 
And then I always carry an extra onesie. I haven't uh, needed to use this, so I gotta check the size on this. And an extra pair of socks. I put them in Ziploc bags, that way if we do have a blowout, I have a bag, a blowout, I have a bag to put the nasty um, clothes in. And a, God, there's a lot of stuff in here. Little toy. The nipples for those bottles. Well, looky here, more at one, two disposable bibs. And then this is usually um, like my mommy bag in here. So I just started carrying my purse again. And which I don't carry it all the time anyways, but I kind of have like some um, essentials. I got a Bath and Body Works body spray, just a little one. Um, my husband wears contacts, so I just threw that in here. Um, some hot, what are they called? Hot licks, but anyways, they're toothpicks. A pen, floss, beauty blotters, woman product, another woman product. And this is actually emergency, what is it really called? Yeah, like an emergency blanket, but it's like, if it's like really cold and we get stuck, I don't know, one of them emergency things. And then, oh, there's my Aqua 4 chapstick. I think that is it in here. Oh, did I mention pen? Oh my gosh, there is my Burt's Bees. What else is in here? Jeez, I've been looking for y'all. Well, well, well. We have another toy. A yo-yo. Uh, it's one of my older kids. We went to a birthday party, so I think that's where it came from. My son never liked pacifiers, but I have it in here because he's, like, teething. Even though he's still... I need to take it out, but he just never was into pacifiers. Which, speaking of... Let's see. This is so hard to see where I usually have the diapers, y'all, is like in one of these. But um, I'm going to try and speak fast because, yeah, more pacifiers he doesn't use. And then these are the only things in the right sp spots. But this is a bib and a burp cloth. And then more snacks. Can y'all tell I have a little fat boy? He just eats and eats and eats. We just got these. I got a case of them. Um, these are called uh, Snaps. And um, it's organic apple crisp and 100% natural cheese puffs. It's a weird combination. But, um, I mean, they're pretty good. I probably won't buy another case of it. Well, you know what? My boys, like I told you guys, my boys aren't home from spring break. They're going to come back tomorrow, which I can't wait. So, we'll... We'll try them. I, like, you guys know I eat anything that my baby eats or I try it first. I mean, they're all right. And the baby likes them, but we'll see if the other boys like them because I got a case from Sam's and um, before I buy another case, we'll find out. And then this is from Annie's. And I do give him these. I give it to him. Um, I'll bite half and then give him half. Um, but these are the gummies and they do not stick on your teeth. Um, these are great for adults too. Um, but yeah, y'all try these. I highly recommend these. A package of goldfish. This is, I got when he was newborn, he never used it, but now he'll put it in his mouth and like chew it. But, um. This, what is in here? I forget. Oh, we have some Advil. And I told you guys on one of my previous videos, this is a sample size, but look how big it is. Anytime we go to the doctor or anything, I ask them for samples. And they always have a, a ton, so... And this is, see, is this another sample one? Let me see, y'all. What is, oh, yeah, it is. See, look how cute these are, and they're from, I get them free. 
And then we have like a little nose sucker thingy and then a um, little medicine dispenser. And these are um, what I got free too, but do I have two Advil now? But anyways. And we have some Ella's Kitchen Apples and Strawberry. Um, I really like this brand because... Y'all, check out the ingredients. Organic apples, organic strawberries, organic lemon juice concentrate. That is it. So, I'm really happy about these Ella ones. And then this is... Oh, my back's hurting, y'all. This is another pears, peas, and broccoli. Check out the ingredients. Organic pears, organic peas, organic broccoli, and then organic lemon juice concentrate. Y'all cannot beat that. And I got a bunch for sale at um, Walmart. So, random formula, a pen, a woman product, and mouth-watering beef medley. Let's see what's in here. Oop! Okay, organic vegetables, organic carrots, organic potatoes, organic parsnips, organic tomatoes, organic leeks. See, that is it. It's just food. And that would be it. And why I'm on this subject, oh, it takes me, Woo! that's a choking hazard. Look at that mess. Ugh. Okay. I want to check something out here. And like I have so much baby food cuz I I'm always afraid I'm going to run out. Um so I got him over there in that thing, but I'm it's a mess. I don't really want to show you guys. I just wanted to look. These are from Dole. Let's see here. Ingredients. Apple puree, water, banana puree, apple juice, concentrate, and see. Okay. And then these, I got these from Sam's. I just wanted to see here. Organic apples. Hmm. Weird. Um, but anyways, you guys, look how much I've cleaned up. If you guys see my other videos, I had a bunch of stuff. My son's birthday party is in two weeks. So this is all the stuff that is for his birthday par party. And it's a lot of stuff I've made. So um, I've already done like the goodie bags. I think I got 60 of them. That bin is full with birthday decorations, plates, cups. We have nachos. I'm saving that empty box because I can transport more stuff over there. And check these out, y'all. I made these. Aren't they cute to hang up at the, um, well, we rented a building like, like a rec center. There's Elmo. There is, um, oh my God, Big Bird. And then... Cookie Monster. But let me know if you guys want to see all the stuff that I made um, for his party because it's in that bin. And um, I really want to uh, show you guys how I make a lot of stuff. It's really neat stuff. This actually we got um, at Party City. It's a roll because there's 10 tables. We're having a lot of people show up. And then, um, so I can just lay it out on the tables. But, yeah, it's kind of a mess here. And this isn't even all. We still got to go get more waters and everything. But, anyways, if you guys watch my videos, and I'm doing the Con Mari um, decluttering, I got all those bins with all those junks. I actually donated probably 95% of everything. This stuff will be gone once um the birthday party's over and we just have his little bouncy he had a blowout in it so i just washed it i gotta put that thing up and then i'm gonna put the high chair over there um and then of course since we live in an apartment i can't leave my son's electric scooter oh so this is the last bin that we have left out of my um little hoard i had 
and I don't have um, a, a, a desk yet and so um, I just kind of use that right there and I'm thinking about um, all the diapers because I have so many diapers that I got from the baby showers or baby shower and um, he has outgrown he's in size four now so I have a crap load of size three um, size two and I'm thinking about making diaper cakes and um, putting little goodies all around it and selling them. Let me know what y'all think. I just started playing around with it the other day. And, of course, I got to get all the stuff, um, you know, to put in it. And I was thinking about spoons, little samples of, you know, all the soaps. Let me know if you guys uh, want to see that. And then um, let me know what you guys think I should sell them for. Because I was thinking about selling them online in Texas. We have a Facebook, uh, like a garage sale Facebook site. So, what do y'all think I should sell them for? Of course, it's going to have a ton of stuff, the ribbon, everything. Um, this was just kind of like a rough uh, a rough one. But, yeah, give me an idea. Um, is $25 too much if I put a bunch of stuff on there? Um, yeah, let me know. But isn't that sad, y'all? I've got to reorganize. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your comments. They make my day out. I always go tell uh, my husband, honey, 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 look, somebody else commented. And I always have a smile on my face. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can join my family and I can make some new friends. But until um, I see you next time, bye, guys.